Here we've got our embossed aluminium heat shield. This is a semi-rigid, easy to fold and form sheet of aluminium. Uh, it's an alternate to the peel and stick that we've got here on our firewall. As you can see, we've fold and form made one here. The key to this product though is it needs to be spaced off the surface that you're trying to protect. So if you had some sort of heat element, turbocharger, hanging up here, this heat shield's gonna hold the heat like a magnet and stop the radiant heat from getting to the backside. What we're gonna do with this one is we're just gonna make another shield down here. So this would simulate if you had a set of headers down here, you had wiring on the backside and you wanted to protect it. So the easiest way to do it is uh, you can just make a template, get a bit of plastic. off picked up on a couple of captive threads that were already here, so we're going to use them and we're just going to spin a nut on the back to space it out. So there's one, two, three and four. So I've just got a bit of plastic and made a uh, template that'll sit over here. So we're going to put a fold in the top, a small fold here, so we've allowed a, a relief cut there. So we're going to transfer this straight onto our heat shield and then we'll fold and form, put some holes in it and fold it up here. So we've traced this and we're left around an additional 5mm on top of this because what we're going to do is we're going to put it over the edge of the bench and fold and form the edge down. As you can already see on this sheet that it's already been folded over 180. So we're going to cut it, it's going to be a raw edge, and then we're going to fold it down so it's a nice smooth sealed edge. So you can cut this product with scissors or tin snips. So now we're going to hammer the edge over 90 degrees and I'm going to flip it over and fold it 180 on itself. So you can do this either, I've got a metal edge here, but you can easily do it on a timber edge as well. So if you just overhang it, say 5mm from the edge, and then start tapping it down. And then flip it over. That'll create a beam for you and it'll create a smooth edge that's not sharp. So you can just work your way around anywhere where you've got a square edge. Just cut a small 45 on this before you fold it. That'll get rid of that sharp ear. So the aluminium is pretty malleable, even on those square edges that were sharp, if you just tap them in on themselves, you'll be able to fold and form and create a nice soft edge so you won't cut yourself. So we'll take this back to the car and we're going to put a fold in it through here and through the top and then line it up with the studs, put some holes through, then bolt it on. Right? No, it's good. Yep. So I've got a hole here, which I traced from our template. We're going to start with that one to line up with this bolt here. So I'm just going to put that through. I've got a stepper drill here. We're just going to put that one through. So now we can work out, this needs a slight kink through there, as you can see it's easy to form. And then we're going to measure up here, I've got another stud here, I'm just going to mark a line there where we're going to put a fold, and that's going to come down to about there. So we're going to want to relief cut this guy all the way down, and then we're going to put a fold from that, that point to that point, 
and then down here we're gonna go from there to about there we potentially have to cut some of that off but we'll fold this and we'll see how it looks To mount the shield, what I've done is I've just cut the heads off these bolts to turn them into studs so I can thread them in, put a lock nut on. Now we've got the opportunity we can spin a, another nut on here. That'll set our distance that we want off, a, off the chassis rail, so that's totally adjustable. We'll put a washer on there. We can put our shield on and then lock up onto that and that gives us a good gap. So we'll go ahead and we'll replace the rest of the bolts in there with our studs. So we've got our studs set up now with our nuts spaced off. Good finger gap there. We're going to now pick up the two top studs so we'll bolt these ones on. So we can just position them. Put a nut on just to hold it in position. And then if we just hold it where we want it, tap that guy. And find this one down the front. We'll drill those through. So you get a bit of a burst through, you can just run your drill back in there to clean it up or just tap it back into itself. Now we'll screw these guys up to where they need to be. Put your standoff nut on. You want to lock those up with a spanner. So you can use washers if you need to, or just screw your nuts straight back on top. Get a couple of spanners, lock that one up, lock that one up, job done.